Brigade, a subdivision of an army containing battalions and or other units of personnel. Or, an organization of people with a specific purpose, usually with a military or quasi-military structure. This is somewhat the foundation for our name, and I feel it's close to accurate for what the brigade actually is. It goes on to say something with a common cause, having people with a common characteristics, or set of characteristics. But it means more than that, personally anyway. The Boys Brigade was founded over a century ago, and since then we've gained our own building, an island, the addition of gender equality, and we've earned more than just a simple branding. I don't think just a common cause is what kept the Brigade together and bringing kids back every year. To be fair, it's one cause that we invest ourselves in, but it goes beyond just teaching leadership for me. You could say that the Brigade is a place to socialize, go somewhere else for a night of the week. A place to find a second family, but where you see each other more. Where you build things and talk about and do stuff you can't or rarely can elsewhere. Where you learn to contribute to your future more so in my opinion than most classes in public schools ever could and probably will within our lifetimes. The Brigade is a place to find yourself, friends, mentors, and ways to better yourself and others through leadership. That is the motto after all, we build leaders. But note, I keep saying there's more. There always is. There's more to it than just vague lessons and buzzwords. People joke about the ninth grade group's names being buzzwords. Well, I don't. They're pretty inspiring, mean a lot on their own, but still, those things aren't everything here at the Boys and Girls Brigade. I think of them like a mosque, really, for the deeper lessons that words can't describe. Everyone who's been in the program and actually taken the time to experience it has learned a lot. We know there's more. We do things and we learn from them. We hear of others' learning experiences, and take what we might from those. We could care less that we sound vaguely cult-like as we recite the object because at least we know we aren't one. We challenge ourselves physically and mentally for betterment. We push through things, sometimes without any issues, and other times we wing it and get by on the mere whim of completion. We love it here, and many years after graduation, many of us keep coming back. But there's also the subjective parts, the mushy bits. I feel these are the parts we all find much more love in than the program alone. But this part, it varies quite a lot. I want to share what I think of mine. I'll tell a bit of the story and what each part has taught me. Firstly, I started late, in 7th grade instead of 6th. This was my least favorite year, but judging by the fact I kept coming back, it obviously wasn't so bad. The main issue were the immature guys I got stuck with. The loud few, you might say. I'm not going to talk about it though, because let's face it, several boys that age are pretty obnoxious. I learned a bit of the stoic attitude that year, and I think my mental reserve was hardened. 8th grade came around. Pretty sure around this time my class quickly started gaining the loud kids reputation for our prevalent and constant yapping. We don't talk about it anymore, and if you think hard enough about it, you'll see the irony in that sentence. At least I hope you do. 8th grade was better, but I feel less memorable than 7th grade. It was, however, the time when I started to do school online instead of just going to Nina Public. Brigade helped me in that. It was one of the few times each week I would get to see anybody that was my age. I got to do stuff and hang around with people that would otherwise not have been seen or I would have talked to. Even in public school I didn't do much of that, but just seeing other people that were my age was probably helpful to my sanity. Um, I certainly needed Brigade more then. I can definitely see now all the more that that is the case because it was a time when I started to feel most alone. And I've since changed my outlook. Then came freshman year. Coed, gossip, and great new friends. This was a year I genuinely enjoyed, and had it not been so great, I'm unsure whether I would have co at all. I also had a pretty cool leader. I specifically co for her during my junior year. Ninth grade was also the time when I finally started to accept myself. Bodily, artistically, and sexually. I did dumb societal sexual stereotypes, or at least really caring about them. Admit it, come on. A gay guy who draws? That's a pretty dumb stereotype. Though it existed at some point in history, probably several times, 10th grade was pretty great following, all the more insightful, and I have little stopping me from saying my favorite year. It was a sad ending because we knew that not all of us would see each other much, if at all, anymore, but a good portion of us came back together at LTC that summer, and the following one last year. Hopefully most of us from last year make it back to this third and final year. <sighs> LTC. Even just last year, only our second year. We weren't a bunch of immature and friend group people anymore. 
We figured out some of Unity, and after much debate our first year, we called ourselves Sono un colore, siamo morales, or I'm the color, we are the mural in Italian. I feel this is one of the best phrases I've heard to date, and I wouldn't mind getting it inked forever on my skin. And someone else already has. Though the scale of the writing is a bit large and in charge on his arm anyway, for me. It still suits the guy with the tattoo though. Pretty sure several others are thinking of doing the same. And frankly, it helps to have seen someone else already do it. And then there is co-leading. I'd anticipated this with much excitement and nervousness up until the start of Brigade during 11th grade. From January when co-leader shadows started up mid 10th grade year, to the last minute when I was signed up the day of. And yes, my mom procrastinated and forgot. I had thought she got to it by then, but apparently not. I'm not blaming her, it's just... really? This was the time to test my maturity, and believe me, it succeeded. Afterwards, I felt like I had succeeded. On the odd night me and the other co-leader had the group to ourselves, we did alright. I learned a bit more how to take charge. Admittedly, made some mistakes and embarrassed myself a few times, but I learned from that. Ninth grade co-leading was great. Took me a while to figure it out. But being a simple nod or giving a gentle nudge is a lot more educational than directions given and forgotten by the morning after. I had finally learned leadership wasn't authoritarian. School put it in empty words, and Brigade reframed it and taught me with experience. I moved up with the class and this year I co-led 10th grade. I even had a kid from my last year who stuck through this year, and I still sometimes chat with the other kids from my previous group. During affirmations in small group, I even heard that one kid say she thought I was already ready for being an actual leader. You'd barely understand how much I melted at that phrase reflecting on it after the night was over. It's been a much different experience seeing the programs from mostly the outside. Turns out there's plenty of improv, but on the rare case it screws up, it's not really a big deal. We can laugh about it later and remember to do something different. That problem solving we did there counts for something. Everything's a lot like how I've learned how to be the best leader I can be. Seems like it works well enough. What does all this mean for Brigade though? I'll put it the way several leaders have said it. Experience. You make what you make of it. Not doing all of the stuff I just mentioned I've done would mean I'd have learned nothing. I've heard that you won't get anything out of the Brigade if you don't try to, and it's some of the best advice I've ever heard. It may sound corny, but being afraid to screw up is the worst excuse ever. You don't learn anything if you do it perfectly, and everyone is expecting you to screw up once so that you can see you're actually human and not some prodigy machine. The goal isn't to prove you know everything, quite the contrary, it's to show you didn't, still don't, and are on your way to doing so. I'm certain in the future it'll be some of the best advice I can give, beyond just Brigade. That's a life lesson in and of itself, beyond the main goal of teaching leadership and how to work well with others. Experience is basically in the prompt of this project itself. This coming year, I'm going to the Fox Valley Tech for software. I expect I won't go about just changing the world, especially with that career field, but you can bet I've got something of a head start in adult life. I know I have a lot to learn, but I'll pick it up faster if I'm looking out for it. I doubt it will be much at first. Make gentle impacts, one step at a time. Is any of this helpful in the short run? Answer there is a bit subjective. I doubt I'll be doing much for the next few years while I get my adult life together, but I can and always will be ready. Plus, someone's gotta direct those dreaded college group projects. After that, I cannot be sure. Nobody is, but I'm still in it for the long run. Most definitely. Thank you for listening.